Hey guys, it's bro you whack and before I get deeper into this video for all the people who don't want to pay attention till the end I just want to summarize what this video is basically gonna be talking about which is I'm not gonna be leaving overwatch anytime soon Especially when overwatch 2 is coming out But the vibe of this video might give off that impression when that's not at all true Because today what we're gonna be talking about is the brand new CSGO and overwatch baby game Valorant Originally known as project a I really want to take today's video to discuss the brand new game coming from Riot Games, you know, the company that brought you League of Legends, probably one of the most popular video games of all time, and really just discuss my viewpoint on the brand new game where I stand and really just have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You know, recently I've been doing a lot of topical videos, like with my typical series with Top Fives and Chef You Whack and Funny Moments, and then talking about the game of Overwatch, but never have ever really just sat down and talked to you as of late and just had an honest conversation with you guys and to tell you what's been going on in my mind, because if I'm gonna be honest, with you guys when I saw that Valorant trailer and when I saw the CSGO, Overwatch, Rainbow, just see the whole entire video game community get hyped up of this game, it kind of gave me a little bit of a panic attack and I'm not really someone that gets anxiety a lot of the time but it, it just got me overthinking of what I need to do and I feel like the best way to just relieve a lot of the pressure that I'm feeling is to jack, I'm, I'm talk to you guys. <laughs> Pushing all jokes aside though, I did want to be serious a little bit because this is kind of a big deal, talking about a different game other than Overwatch has been something that I never really wanted to do, but some people always ask, you know, hey, are you ever going to post any other game besides Overwatch? And I always tell them no, because most people subscribe to me for Overwatch. But when a game like Valorant comes along and you see a lot of the things that we love about Overwatch in the game, be it the unique characters, the abilities, or the game-changing ultimates, like you see Hanzo Sonic Arrow in there, or you see the arrows kind of floating around that dude, like kind of like Zenyatta, and then you see all these colorful smoke screens but then you see the tactical like gameplay that you come to find in CSGO and then the search and destroy like objective it gets you thinking it's like well, should I play this because it's not anything too different or is this just gonna be another fad game? And I never want to be that YouTuber that just completely abandoned the community that helped build the channel, but I also don't want people to get bored with the same thing in case they wanna see more content. So that's why I bring the question, should I post both when Valorant comes out during the summer? And that's why I wanna show you guys gameplay and not really tell you like what Valorant is without having something for you to look at because if you just hear the phrase, I want to post something other than Overwatch, you'll just be turned off from the idea as a whole. But if you see Valorant gameplay and you think, oh, I don't really like the art style, oh, I don't like the smoke screens, I don't like the CSGO like gameplay, like it just looks like a terrible game, bro. Like, please don't post it, then it's okay, it's fine. Then I can just always stick to Overwatch when it comes to posting wise, and I can always just play Valorant off camera. And if it does become a very, very hype game, then maybe I can gain the courage and be like, F y'all, I'm posting both Valorant and Overwatch. Overwatch. Once again, not ever jumping Overwatch's ship, but more or less being like Mr. Fruit, where he posts Destiny, Call of Duty, Overwatch. He's not tied to just one game, but branches out. And I know I'm not Mr. Fruit, but this is where I just want to be honest and transparent. And if it does happen, like if Valorant comes out in the summer and I decide I did want to play and post it, then you know why I'm doing it. It's not because I hate Overwatch or I want to stop it. It's because I just want to bring more flavors to my ice cream parlor than just awesome vanilla, which by the way, vanilla low key is the best flavor. It's it's plain, but I've just always been a plain boy. I, I don't know. <laughs> and that's just really me opening my heart up as a content creator and being a little bit vulnerable and telling you where I stand because I worked so hard to build this channel that I don't want it to all get ruined because I, I post a couple of videos of Valorant in the middle of summer and then people think I'm done with it. Like, no, I, I just want it to be honest. But as terms of the Overwatch player side of me, I, I really do think this is actually going to be good for Overwatch because for the longest time, Overwatch hasn't really had any competition besides Paladins, but we all know how that played out. Competition is good in the industry because that forces companies to be innovative and to really change their norm and to really bring new fresh ideas. And while Overwatch 2 and a story mode is gonna be coming, I think this is gonna influence people at Blizzard to work harder, to bring us more events, to bring us more content, more heroes, more skins, more stuff that we care about because, hey, Valorant, 
is now in the playing field and they could easily poach and take a lot of the player base away from Overwatch if they don't keep people engaged in Overwatch. So I think Overwatch players are gonna be fine. If you don't at all care about Valorant but you're scared about the game going away, that's not gonna happen. In fact, it might even enhance Overwatch in the long term. But where I was freaked out was just really as a content creator because this channel is more than just me, it's about us. If I can take a phrase from Dashi, one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, he always says it's about us. I'm not just gonna bring random gameplay that you don't care about, but if a lot of people play this game, just how a lot of people played like Fortnite and even Apex for a little bit, then what's the point of not posting it? If you guys enjoy the game and if I enjoy the game and I can make good enjoyable videos, then everybody wins. Plus all the people that only wanna watch Overwatch, then your content's not gonna be going away anytime soon. I don't know, in my head it makes sense, but I always just overthink things just because that's the kind of person I am. Overwatch 2 is coming in the near future. A lot more content is gonna be made from me. Like, I'm not at all gonna be leaving, especially when the biggest moment in Overwatch's history is just about to unfold. But I know I can't post Overwatch forever, but I wanna try to. So anyway, guys, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come. <laughs> and bye.